Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect with the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel. We have the Five of Swords coming out. Some of you might be involved in the con conflict. I'm feeling more that this is something that has occurred in the past, maybe some type of argument. Then we're having the Devil and the Four of Pentacles come out. Maybe something toxic has a hold on some of you. Or had. Spirit, please show Pisces what messages you have for them at the time they watch this video. What messages do you have for Pisces at the time you watch this video? And one thing I want to tell you guys um, I, is what will bless your life in this moment? So for some of you... When you're in a particular point in time or you're feeling a little bit stressed, maybe even just laying on the couch unable to get up, ask yourself what will bless yourself in this moment? Will remaining on the couch bless you or will getting up and stretching bless you? You know, just I mean, something simple like that can help to change your life um, by really saying, not only do I have a choice, but how will this choice bless my life? Anyway, here we go. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages do you have for Pisces? So we're getting the Four of Pentacles come. Wow. Okay, so we're getting the Devil and the Four of Pentacles coming out. So that's definitely some prominent energy that we need to address in this reading. What are the messages? Okay. Then we have the Six of Wands. So no matter what your... You may be struggling to let go of something or something may not be letting go of you. We'll see what this what is happening. This can also refer to finances and, and monetary aspects. You're going to have success and victory in this, no matter what it is. And then we have the sun, which is positivity and success and fulfillment as well. What other messages do you have for Pisces? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Anything else for Pisces? And we have the Ten of Cups, so that's quite beautiful. Whatever this is, Pisces, it's going to bring a lot of benefit to you. And then we have the Queen of Swords and the Four of Wands. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is going on here in this message. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this Devil card? What is this Devil card for Pisces? What is this Devil card for Pisces, please? Okay, so this is definitely speaking to materialism. For some of you, okay, so I just had to say what comes to my mind. For some of you, you may be stuck to somebody because they view you as the emperor or you view them as the em empress, I stand corrected. But I'm really feeling more the monetary aspects of the devil card of you may very well just be concerned or working on your finances right now. The devil is a card also of self-employment and entrepreneurism, just really building wealth creation. It's a very earthy financial card as well. So here what we're seeing is material abundance. And then what is this four of pentacles? What is this? Thank you. And we have the hermit. What is this four of pentacles? So this is showing that there's been some type of lesson around finances to help you understand better how to hold on to your security and stability so that you can successfully move forward in the future. What is the six of wands for Pisces, please? And we have the two of pentacles, which for some of you, you could be turning a hobby or interest into passive income or deciding to do some some juggling, maybe some some of you have been robbing Peter to pay Paul, so to speak. But here we see that you're going to have victory over the situation, whether it's turning a hobby into passive income or having self-employment or entrepreneurism. Right now, you, you have a lot of lessons that you have learned that will help you go forward very stably and securely with victory. We have the chariot and the six of wands now, so this is very victorious energy. What is the sun card for Pisces? What is the sun card for Pisces, please? And we have the three of wands. So you're going towards your growth and expansion. You're going towards something that's going to really illuminate your life and bring a lot of happiness and joy. 
Um, also a sense of freedom. What is this Ten of Cups for Pisces? What is this Ten of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Ten of Cups for Pisces, please? And we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, after a period of difficulty here, Pisces, we're seeing that you're, you're having this new beginning. And we have the Four of Pentacles again. So you could have been through this difficult cycle where you put in a lot of work and didn't see a lot of rewards. You just are feeling extremely exhausted and tired. But there's a new beginning here that's going to be very um, stable and grounded and have financial benefit to it as well. And we ultimately see it's going to lead to your emotional fulfillment. What is this Queen of Swords for Pisces, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this Queen of Swords? What is the Queen of Swords for Pisces, please? What is this Queen of Swords, please, Spirit? And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So your emotional and your material fulfillment. There's going to be some type of emotional change. Um, some type of offer or message might be coming towards you. It could be from somebody who has feminine air in their chart, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or I feel more for some of you, it's, it's going to be as a result of the clear logical choices you're making. And what is this Four of Wands for Pisces, please? What is this Four of Wands for Pisces? What is this Four of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? And we, wow, we have the King of Swords. So for some of you, you know, this can speak about coming into completion and meeting a perfect match or a counterpart with the Four of Wands here. The Four of Wands does speak to Twin Flame energy. The Ten of Wands does speak to a relationship as well. So this could, in fact, say that as a result of it, this new beginning or this success and victory you're having in your life, the Devil card also references commitments and marriage with the ball and chain aspect. So somebody could be viewing you as their empress and wanting to, is trying to find a way on how they can hang on to you and have success and victory with you going forward because you are their sunshine and they want to have a happy new beginning with you and they really want to hang on to you and never let you go. With this Ten of Pentacles, this is that they are wanting to come forward with a, a message of commitment or an offer of love in order to come into union. So this is a very interesting reading, Pisces. For some of you, it's it's going to be financial. And for others of you, it's going to, in fact, be love. I know a lot of you don't have optimism or faith that love is going to happen for you. But we do have a message that states that. And again, for others of you, this is looking towards financial um, action in your life. Spirit one card for the overall message. Thank you. So I, I felt the energy of the cards on the bottom of the deck. That's why I po popped them over. And we're having prosperity begin. So just as I was saying for some of you Pisces, this is definitely speaking to a financial, a very positive financial change that's coming forward. And then we have judgment, um, which is a card of truth. So this is something that's planned for your life. Then we have wisdom, which is the card of the hermit. You've gone through a lot of experiences and now you're being prepared for what's coming for your destiny. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.